All right, everybody. Here we are. We've made it all the way to the NBA Finals. We've made it all the way to the NBA Finals. What a interesting NBA Finals we have here. Let me tell you. Two teams. The Suns of Phoenix and the Bucks of Milwaukee. Chris Paul versus Giannis. CP3 versus Giannis. Out to the Cooper. And a bunch of other players, you know, like Devin Booker, DeAndre Eight, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez. Just an interesting cast of characters all around that make this one of the most intriguing finals matchups. One of the one of the best finals matchups I think we've had. You know, that that is very that was very unpredictable from the start, you know? Because of a lot of factors. A lot of factors really played into this to where we got, you know, starting, you know, Tuesday night. First off, you know, first off is the fact that, you know, a lot of the teams that were popular, the people, the people, you know, were picking for their finals picks, including myself, because I remember I said... And I knew I was gonna be wrong. I, I, I knew I was gonna be wrong. I knew I wasn't gonna. I knew, you know, my attention span with the NBA hadn't been the greatest the last few years. But I, I didn't think, you know, it would be like this. I, I really thought it was gonna be Lakers Nets, like a lot of people. I really thought that was a popular pick. But um, it, it didn't happen that way, and it is what it is. And the second thing is that playing tournament. You know, first was the hype. Play-in tournament played a big, big factor. And once again, I don't think there should be a play-in tournament. I don't think we should have, you know, a Washington Wizards team that didn't even go 500 in the East because they were under 500 in the East. They, they, they didn't even have a winning record. They had a losing record. They, again, should be top 16 teams regardless. No play-in tournaments, no nothing. Still could have had some great matchups in the first round, some very intriguing matchups where it's, where we don't have to see, you know. We probably still would have gotten Utah Memphis, you know. It, it would have been in the first round. It would have been in the first round, too. I guarantee you it would have been. You know, and then the other teams just, you know, there was, again, I'll go back to the hype. I'll go back to the hype thing, you know, for just a minute. It was teams like the 76ers, there was teams like the Clippers, teams like my Dallas Mavericks, who folded up and choked, choked it away. And not just because, you know, players were not playing at their greatest potential, but also because of injury, which is the third thing. A lot of, a lot of injuries in these playoffs, lots of injuries to star players, you know. And I mean, it's just LeBron got hurt, AD got hurt, you know, Trey Young got hurt. Giannis got hurt a little bit. I mean, everybody was getting hurt. Everybody was getting hurt. Harden got hurt. Kyrie got hurt. Everybody was hurt. And it's because of how this season was. I think, you know, honestly, I think the season should have extended out another month instead of ending in July, you know, because, I mean, I think that would have served us a little bit better. And I think the NBA should go, and this is my thing here, I think the NBA should permanently go from a December to August type schedule, I think, because the MLB is disgusting. Like, I hate it. I really hate baseball. I really do. It's absolutely disgusting. Ain't nobody's really using those arenas unless it's like I don't know, stupid. I don't know, like concerts and stuff like that, or the occasional indoor football game or the occasional hockey game in the summer. But nobody, no, there's nothing else really on. Do you, do you really want to watch golf? Do you really want to watch golf on CBS every week? Do you, do you really want to watch MLB? You know, invade your screen. You know, on, on every station, at every hour, at every day, each and every week, each and every day for like 180 straight days or something like that. No, no, I don't want that. 
So, you know, start, please. Somebody tell the NBA, get it together. We're going back to that normal schedule as well. You know, that's not going to be good for the players, I don't think. And so, whoever wins these finals here is going to have a little bit of a short break. They're going to have a short break. Both teams are going to have a short break. And it's going to be a... It's going to be interesting to see how the NBA adjusts back to a normal season because they played pretty pretty much like three seasons in a calendar year. So, But yeah, this matchup, going back to this matchup real quick, I think this series will go uh, six games maybe. I want to see CP3 win a ring. I don't think it's Giannis' time yet. I don't think so. I want to see CP3 win it. I want to see the Suns win it. They smacked around. They smacked around the Lakers. They smacked around the Clippers. I mean, they smacked them around. I think, you know, the Bucks can put up a fight. I think the Bucks can put up a, a really good fight, though. I really think so. It's going to be very tense this time. It's going to be very tense this year. So, make with that what you will. That's my prediction. Suns win in six. Not four, because... I don't think I don't think that's gonna be a sweep. That that'd be ludicrous. But Suns are going to win this series. And it's gonna be damn interesting to see them win this series. So I can't wait. I really can't. So that is tomorrow and then you know the next games will go every other day or so. And I again I can't wait. I really can't wait for it. I'm, I'm very excited see how the future holds for my prediction so hopefully these next two weeks we have a great time with the NBA finals and you know we have a great off season you know because I'm probably gonna you know, make like maybe one or two videos talking about the off season and then one or two videos talking about you know or, yeah, yeah maybe like one or two videos talking about the off season maybe the draft you know maybe some free agency stuff um, yeah, that's, I'll, I'll come back with, you know, obviously I'll come back after the finals are over. So whenever the finals do end, I will come with, come at you with a, you know, recap. Come at y'all with a recap like I did last year and like I did a couple of years ago as well. So with that being said, everybody, this is a blessed finals because no LeBron, no Steph Curry, just it's just hitting different this year it hits a lot differently and maybe it's just because of the pandemic as well you know it hits differently it's gonna be very very weird to see somebody from the Bucks of Milwaukee or the Sons of Phoenix holding up that NBA Finals trophy but it's not gonna be just bizarre it's gonna be one hell of a celebration I can guarantee you for either side, whoever the side, whoever wins this series, it's gonna be having one hell of a time, and I can't wait to see it, man. So with that being said, everybody, let's do this. EBA Finals. Your move. NBA. Y'all take care.